Right, good morning everyone. Nice and early. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start the greenhouse build video. Uh, we've already done the foundation, as you can see. And uh, we're going to be putting four frames on this with tie beams in between. And then obviously covered in grass. Uh, I don't really know I'm going to do it just yet. I've just got my model to go off of. Um, so the first video, I'm just going to make it and film me making it. And then the second video I'll go, and third and fourth video we'll go through actually how to do it. So I've got to learn how to do it myself first. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. Right, it is the next day. Yesterday uh, was a bit slow going, difficult to film, and just working out all the angles and stuff, which is, uh, yeah. Unless you do stuff like this fairly regularly, it's pretty, you forget them pretty quick. So, yeah, I'm not gonna house these joints, it's just gonna be the tenon, because, you know, this is actually a pretty small building made out of big timbers, so this is plenty. If I was worried about the size of these timbers or it had large load on it, all of these joints would want to sit, so the whole width of the timber was in here somewhere, same for these, but it doesn't matter. Today I'm going to work on getting the posts in the right place, uh, get some mortises done, and then I need to cut one of these down the middle, and we'll work on the brace that goes from here into here. Right, I'm going to do that post first, get propped up, I'm already running out of stands. Right, I'm going to get this all apart now and do some mortises uh, so this all lays flat then and then I can uh, start figuring out some bracing. I just marked around all my tenons and there they go. Everything's all lining up there. Fitting of the first mortise and tenon that's complete. It fits quite well. Good. If that fits well, I'll uh, go straight and mark that hole.
Right, made the first mistake of the build. Not a big deal. I marked on the wrong side of my line for where the door goes. So I've just put this patch in. You can see there's now a hole in it. But because the whole thing is covered in holes anyway, which I'm going to patch up, that won't look out of place. And I've used the same timber, got it in there really tight. You won't be able to tell. It's going to be upside down. Door post is going to be in this one now, which I'm about to cut out. Moved over the 100mm because I marked the wrong side of the line. And then uh, the actual seat that the door sits on, the door jam, will cover most of this anyway. So no big deal, but yeah, almost remade the piece there for a minute, but I decided to patch it instead. Yeah. somewhere slowly with this. Let's say I'm just uh, filming me make this first one because I'm figuring it out. Sorted out that mistake now. I'm just uh, pressing on. So that should go in there with a bit of uh, jiggly pokery. I don't want to hit it too hard on that. to get a bit further yesterday but I made that mistake and had to patch that up. Um, but we're getting on alright, I've got a lot of the mortises and tenons done, I need to do two in this piece today, same as these, and then I can get this together and uh, start figuring out where the braces are going to go. Um, it's been like being back at school figuring this out. It's been a while since I've done all this and working out all the angles and remembering that a triangle has to add up to 180 and all that. And I don't know, it's been taxing me little brain a little bit too much and I sort of feel like I need to get back in the woods a little bit and, uh, and do some grunt work. So tomorrow I'm gonna cut all of the braces. Yeah, the only timber I've got milled at the moment is the basic timber for the frames. I haven't got any of the bracing stuff milled any of these bits in between um, I need to mill all of that which one of the reasons for making the sawmill um, I was originally going to do these bits out of the same wood but I've decided I'm gonna save some wood because it's gonna be tight to get all my frames in with using those so I'm gonna mill some of those. I get to a point today where I need them tomorrow we get back in the woods do a bit of milling mill up some materials then <laughs> oh yeah that was a lot to try and get across on camera first thing in the morning morning everyone so i'm up at my uh my new wood pile got a really good deal on this so i bought it um that's why i'm making the sawmill and we started the fencing too which you're going to be carrying on with tomorrow just uh figuring out what we're doing but anyway um yeah i need to mill up these uh braces the wood for the braces so i'm going to do that now i just had to go out and get a new bar for my chainsaw though unfortunately because the uh, uh sprocket on the end fell off anyway let's get to it
Looking good. Well, I got the uh, wood cut out, the braces milled and then cut, cut the sap wood off as well. I'm going to get these pegged in just slightly, just so they pull up nice and tight so I can line my braces up. Ah, right, morning everyone. Well, it's morning to me at least. Monday morning, I've been fencing all, uh, all weekend with Dot and uh, now I'm back on this. So I'm just about to cut out the mortise for the brace, um, the big braces. So I want to try and get all the joinery on this frame done today because then I need to copy all the pieces and then we can assemble this one and get a video out because I didn't get one out this week. All right, anyway, let's cut this mortise. Right, so that is two small wind braces done. Although they're on opposite sides, they're not handed because I've made them the same on both ends so they're flippable. So I can now make all of these exactly the same. Hey everyone, it's a misty morning out in the workshop. Workshop is absolute state and I'm keen to get this frame out of here. So I'm just going to finally put it together one more time. Measure where the bottoms of the posts are, go and do the mortises in the, in the foundation. And then we're going to assemble this on the foundation, which is exciting. Just uh, knock the pegs in just a, just a little way. to squeeze the joints up. My original plan was to copy all these pieces so that, oh, so that uh, you know, I can have the next frame done and it'll be a bit easier. But I'm not going to have time to do that and get a video out for you lot. So I'm just going to put it together, get it up and out and then uh, I shall uh, measure it as I go.
every joint is draw, draw pegged, so as you put the peg in, it squeezes the joint together. That's why I need to sort of put them in a bit, even if just lightly. Otherwise, when I measure the bottom of the posts, to do my mortises in the foundation, they won't fit when I bang all these in because everything will move as it squeezes up. But that's looking good. I'll wait to get this out of here, get the workshop cleaned up. It makes me feel stressed when it's messy in here, which at the moment is just about as messy as it's ever been. Just uh, getting the mortises done for the uh, foundation. Just doing them by hand because it's a pain to get power over it. Got run along extension lead and that, and the mortise uh, won't really clamp on here anyway. So just doing these by hand. Auger them out first, and then chisel it. Right, I'm ready. Got my two mortises, nice and deep, go through both layers. Should be the right size, should be set out where we want them. So it's now time to get this thing assembled. Right, set myself up a platform. I really don't know how well this is going to go. That was horrible. Get that in quick. Just get out of it, gentle. If you're wondering why I'm huffing and puffing so much, moving these timbers about. I thought I'd just quickly show you, just as a reference, just how heavy these are. Just trigger that. Calibrate. Here's a post. Right. Can you see that? I am not putting any weight on that at all, it's on it's balancing point. 
Hang on, let me uh, let me get the camera moving. Right, it's just sitting there. 45 kilos. That's how much each one of these weighs. So yeah, that's why I'm huffing and puffing so much. So yeah, 45 kilos, approximately, what's that, around 100 pounds? Yeah, they get a little bit lighter than that with the joinery and stuff in them, but not a lot. Not a lot lighter, they're about 100 pounds each. Very heavy, very dense wood. Right, let's get these pegs in. Right, got the uh, door frames in. They're not fixed or anything, just pegged at the top. Going well. So now I need to put in the tie beams. I'm losing the light though. Might quickly throw them in, we'll see. Uh, really running low on daylight now. Get this one in here, so there it goes. Two over the top, put the other side in, we're done. Hey, good morning everyone. So I managed to get the other side tie beam in last night. 
just did it in the dark but the uh, camera ran out of battery so that's it we're ready now to uh, to get the next frame built and in place now the next frame will be much easier to install because not only will it be uh, slightly lighter because he's not got the door frame bits oh the cat's up there uh, but also I can use that top of that frame as a lifting point to lift it up in one piece uh, which I was going to struggle to do with that uh, one because of the uh, fact I'm on a slope so the tractor's hard to get in there because it's got the post knocker on the back of it because we're doing fencing at the moment uh, so it made more sense to build that one but like I say now I can use that up there as a lifting point to bring the next one up into those two tie beams so that'll make that easier so this video was really just to show what we're building and for me to work out exactly what I'm doing with it all. Um, and so the next video I'm going to do a sort of step by step. There should be three more videos of this now uh, for three more frames. So in the next video of this build we should build another frame and lean it up and tie it into here. And I will focus on showing you how I do oh, falling over a mortise and tenon joint and draw peg them together. Okay, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.